Hello, my friends. I'm Pedro Miguel Costa, and I've been waiting for a long time for this camera. So, no surprise. Uh, as I told you on my last video, I had already had some parts to attach to the camera, like this cage, this cable. Um, I pay for my camera. I'm not being paid by Blackmagic. I will show you this unboxing. Unboxing is brand new with the plastic and everything. And I will show you the advantage of using full frame lenses on these Metabones on this camera. So, with no more delays, um let's do the unboxing okay First layer. plastic very important plastic don't throw it on the ocean on the floor because some animals may die so be aware to put it on the right place and now let's to the side and so what we have here is a failure to communication no it's not no oh okay we have the welcome card welcome card we have this So oh, I cannot show this. So this was one of the reasons that I bought the camera to have this beautiful license of DaVinci Resolve, this amazing software. And we have here the software software so thank you black magic for davinci resolve i love this and we have here the infamous battery because i will not be using these batteries i will be using these big batteries big one these big one batteries Okay, um, I'll show you later. We have oh, a DC power adapter. Yeah, this is great. By the way, I will show you something very nice. I'm going to show this amazing stuff. This is Hyperjuice. Hyperjuice huge power bank this is a huge power bank what is so great about this power bank it has 230 volts connector so you are out in a work and you can plug a transformer right here like this you can plug it to the power bank and power up your camera. So this is Hyperjuice. Hyperjuice. Amazing product. Big power bank with SA connection. Great. And this amazing piece of cardboard. Look how amazing this is. Very big. And another of another amazing cardboard. Okay. Now that we've seen all this amazing cardboard, 
Hmm. We have a camera. Camera. Yeah. Comes with a plastic. I will fill up this plastic. And we have the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, this big, huge name. Disconnect, as you already know, all of this. Um, in this episode and future episodes, I will center my review in um, taking advantage of having a cage, a, a battery adapter, the metabones, and of course, the lenses. Uh, let me check the sensor. Look, micro for the sensor. And let's power up the camera for the first time. Oh, let me check. This is CFast card and this is the SD card. By the way, once I had um, uh, Atomos um, recorder that uses CFast card and I, I did build a cable that connects on the bottom because on the bottom of this CFast card uh, you have a simple SATA protocol. So if you are able to connect a SATA drive here, you are able to go. Or if you want to use the USB-C hard drives, okay, to go to. So let's see if the battery powers up with, if the camera powers up with the battery. Um, okay, on, power on. I don't know, we have battery, okay. We have battery, the camera did power up, yeah. And let's try the, turn off the camera, let's try out the metabolism. As I said last year, As I said last year, uh, one of the best metabones to use on this camera, if you have full frame lenses, is this metabones, the 0.64. It's uh, amazing. I've used it on the um, GH5 and I love it. Simply the, um, I have some cheaper adapters, but um, I must rely on the, this optical block that is inside is truly amazing so if you have cheaper um, adapters they will not perform as good as this one um, and uh, okay let's start to put the metabones and after we can plug this gorgeous lens that i truly love it this is the Distagon, Distagon 21. Okay, let's turn on the camera and... Okay. So the first impression is the... Um, I, I have... Um, uh, last year in Fotokina, there was this man from Indonesia. I will, I was able to to handle the camera, and the first impression was the the screen is very good, uh, and 
a huge screen, high phone and a calculator. So here is the math. It's very simple. If you have the meta bones, in this case is a 0.64, what you must do is multiply the, the focal length of the lens by the factor of the speed booster. In this case it's a 21, multiply by 0.64 and you get a 13.24. I will show again. So this length is a 21 millimeters. You will multiply by 0.64 equal to 13.44 millimeters equivalent field of view in a full frame camera. But remember, this is a, a two times crop factor. Now you multiply by two. And what is the advantage of using full frame lenses and this speed booster? You put a 21 millimeters and you end up with a 26.88. So we can say we have now an equivalent uh, field of view of 27 millimeters. This battery, I, I love it especially because it has a USB port. You can uh, use this USB port to charge your phone or whatever. It has a power on button and it has four DTAP connections. Two here and two here. And as a digital display that shows you the time and the amount of charge uh, remained on the battery. Um, I will use this cable is uh, to power up the, the camera and the DTAP. So on the side we have a connector that I will install. Uh, this type of plug is a um, is a fast connector. So you pull it, this connector, and you squeeze it in. It's the same connector that comes with the SC adapter that I will remind you that you can use with this Hyperjuice power bank that has an AC connector. Now that I have plugged, here is the confusion. They say 12 volt, but what I can surely say that it can handle, I think is uh, between 12 and 17 volts. Okay. Now the camera is showing in here that is connected through the AC. So the camera will not be able to manage the power uh, drain. So you have to rely on the display of the battery. Now see, it's showing 10 hours of usage probably more because the display can show more than 10 hours. Nine hours, 59 minutes. So with one single battery, you can be using the camera all day. So my, my goal is to mount a rig that I can put this battery on the backpack to put my weights of the battery on the back and to install a rig that I can use it with handles with follow focus um, and now I will show you I will turn off the camera pull out this I will remove the meta bones oh. and put here the 
battery. Now I will install the camera. I will install the camera on this cage. This is where it's meant to be. So the camera will be installed in here and I would think it will be here uh, all the time. So you secure secure the camera. The camera goes inside amazingly. So this this is the small rig. cage it um, help you to fix all the accessories that you may want to use I already have installed the small rig to use the the Samsung USB hard drive as they show you in the box is this okay so you see this drive here this drive here that I will manage to get on this camera will fit in here. So as you see, this adapter will receive the hard drive and the hard drive will be uh, seated on the top of the camera and the cable goes into the uh, USB-C connector. Um, now I'm going to remove the metabones, the 50 mil lens. Okay. And now oh, this cage again uh, give you access to all the ports on the side, give you access to the battery port that I will install now to continue and I will turn on the the, the camera uh, oh let put all the covers because the glass is so expensive um I have um a few cameras, I have the Red Dragon, Red One, I have uh, 7R2, I have the GH5 and um, I have some Hasselblad camera. Uh, I think my reviews, uh, my future episodes about this camera will be showing what you can do with this camera, not comparing it to a, a red camera. It's nonsense because this camera is a 12-bit uh, and the red camera is a 16-bit camera, so we cannot truly compare one camera. I could easily comparison between these two camera. Why? Because these two camera they capture 12 12 bit of color. So I can do later a review comparing these two systems, comparing with uh, an Alexa with um, a red is simply a nonsense because this camera do billions of colors and the, the red and the Alexis do trillions of colors so no point if you like subscribe if you don't like subscribe if you want leave a comment below leave it positive negative whatever and uh, nobody is perfect and I was just sharing my point of view with you. So see you in my next episode. Bye bye.